since round three. And a defeat against Paris. Last weekend, Magdeburg took points in the Bundesliga in Lemgo, while West Bram also won their Hungarian league game in Bolon to Puridi. And off we go. In offense, from the right to the left. Honke on the right wing. Then, obviously, Kai Smith. On the right back, Weber in the middle, now switching with Christiansson. And we've got Mertens on the left wing, obviously. Our starter in the Magdeburg goal is Swiss international Nicola Portner. And that is a typical move of one of the best scorers within the Magdeburg squad, second best, also the German Bundesliga. And he's not only someone who executes very well, he's a great player also with a good eye for the next one. First save by Vladimir Chupara. He's the starter in West Bram's goal. Yehia Mohamed, Yehia Eldera in the middle on the playmaker position. Rasmus Lauge now switching to the middle position, starting on the left. And we've got Manuel Strelek on the left wing. What a great player he is. And the match is really on from the very first second. As we continue, Gaspar Magoc on the right wing. And ball possession for the host, for Magdeburg. Schmitz, Berja, who more or less takes more responsibility of defensive assignments. Now switching back. Weber comes onto court. O'Sullivan also only in defense for the time being. There's already three minutes played without a goal. Both teams are taking it very seriously. First goal of the game, Smiths for Magdeburg. And that should have been the quick answer by Margoc. Great save by Nicola Portner. And just listen to the volume here. Strelik, one of his specialties, obviously, as the left wing, is the fast break. But we had a whistle. So it's a free throw for Magdeburg. Bergendahl is a starter. For Magdeburg as well. Smith, Christensen. First two minutes suspension for Vesprem. Patrick Litvari. So it's going to be six against five. And it very much looks like Magdeburg wants to play with two pits. Missed one there by Christiansen, who tried to play into the very right corner, which was a good idea because there was a lot of space.
Just one goal in roughly five minutes. So both goalies doing their job and both defensive lines as well. Vesbram without a goalie, so it's six in offense. Magdeburg had two opportunities to even score even in the last two minutes against Płock, but Marcel Jastrzewski stopped both shots from Matthias Musche and Daniel Pedersen in that last game. They lost. Vesbram. A lot of movement in the back line. That means a lot of work for all the defenders in front of Portner. Great defending by Magdeburg. Fast break action. And there was at least a stoppage of that fast break. So it's also about a lot of running. Spies in the right back for Kai Schmidt. Second goal. And also Magdeburg's second goal. Arrived in Magdeburg some two years ago after playing for Wilhelmshaven in the Bundesliga in the second and Holstebro. One of the Dutch stars and their top scorer at the HF Euro at the beginning of 2021. First goal, Vesprem. Rasmus Lauke Schmidt. O'Sullivan. Schmidt. Berger. So if they get the ball, they are part of the first offensive action, Bejak and O'Sullivan. And just a quick look on that first shot and first goal by Lovely Schmidt. 31 years of age, but a great player. Just like him, he's just a little younger. Mertens hits the post. And there's space for Strelik. And another great save by Portner. There's everything on offer. We so much love about Temple here. It was tempting for Strelik to spin the ball, but that was the wrong decision there. And as we've said at the beginning, the Hungarians can expect the full power handball package and a similar volume just like in their own arena, West Bram Arena. Weber, Christensen, and Schmidt. Excellent shot. First goal by Heiko Weber. And the fourth for Magdeburg. A shook off injury. The injury shock. against Lemgo in its first league match after the World Cup break. 34-28 at Lemgo. So they remain in fourth place in the Bundesliga. And Logan Schmidt keeps Vesprem in business here, but he's the only one at the moment. Second goal for the world champion. Obviously representing Denmark there, just once again. His playing style sometimes reminds me of Christensen's playing style. They always go where it's going to be hurtful.
Lauke Schmidt scored 10 goals against France in the final of the World Championship. Another big achievement for the Danish team. Another big achievement, obviously, for West Brems left back. Bit of a trouble there with the ball. Christiansen, it looked almost like traveling. Nice pass, but once again, good defensive work. And here we go again. But Magdeburg is quick back in defense. Strelak got it. 4-3. Nice shot, much better than the first one. By the Croatian wing. His Champions League debut long ago at the age of 18 with Zagreb. He's turned 32. Also played for Kjetsen. It was a very good idea by Mertens to run into the back of the defense. There was a lot of space and no one was looking. So he got that free shot and managed to convert. 5-3. Magdeburg are playing their fifth Champions League season and first in 17 years. Vesprem are competing in their 28th season in Europe's top flight, the machine seeker AHF Champions League. And the last trip back to Lancers Arena dates back to last June when they were defeated in the semi final by Kielce. Margoc scores another one for Westbra. So it's a close affair now between those top class teams. It's very tough to control Kai Smith, who has also already scored 35 goals in the competition. Might be taking over responsibilities also from the penalty spot. As Magnusson is injured. Christianson, good eye. just offering the perfect pa package so well anticipated the shot itself Portner with just on fire here like Magdeburg the defending German champion are once again putting up Absolute dream figures in attack today, but also in the German league. Not only do they have the best attack in the league with 30.6 goals per 50 possessions, but they also lead the league in throwing ratio for the third time in a row, roughly 70%, and they have the fewest ball losses. And you can recognize all that here at the Machine Seeker Champions League round 12 already. They've only allowed four goals so far, and it's roughly 13 minutes played. Just a very short and quick conversation there by Bennett Wigert, who is hit playmaker and best scorer so far. It's probably not enough, it's if only. Lauge Schmidt keeps on scoring. Just a quick look, Margoc, 
one of two. Lauge Schmidt, three of four. Mono Strede, one of two. And that's about it. Five goals all together. Magdeburg in having Schmidt and Christensen as their best scorer so far with two each. It is the most difficult task to play smart here in this arena. Not only against your opponent, but also against the crowd. And that is usually exactly the case in West Bram, of course. And it was a good result, 35-35, in the reverse fixture for Bennett Vegas boys. Once again, a win for either team in this match of the week could be vital in the efforts to book an automatic quarterfinal place and avoid the playoffs. He is everywhere. And that was an excellent idea. There was so much focus on Lauke Schmidt, just slightly dropping the ball. It's Andreas Nilsson, a 32-year-old veteran from Sweden. He's probably well on his way to becoming a club legend. Next year, the Swede will have played for West Bram for 10 years. There's a lot of body contact. There's a lot of physical action. This shit's on. Could have gone. There was a big opening for Smith. And that's the problem against Christensen. And it's funny because sometimes Lauke Schmidt does exactly that. Just diving down a little bit and then it's always very, very difficult to avoid contact that needs to be punished. And that is right the case here. Here we go. Into the face. That's a two-minute suspension. No doubt. No discussion. But don't forget, Magdeburg up 4-1 in the beginning stages here. And now, after just slightly more than 15 minutes, we are on 7-6. So it's a very close game here. Weber. Seven meter. That's the decision that has been taken by Brunner and Salah. And he's not happy about it. He was in the zone. The defender was clearly in the zone. Smith. As we've said, taking over from Magdusov. Bit of speculation there by Chupara. And a good answer by Smith. Obviously, Magdeburg sealing that spot in the Machine CKHF Champions League by winning their first Bundesliga title since 2001 under legendary coach Alfred Gislason. Nenadic on the court now in the left back. We've got Soron Ilic in the right back, and there's another opportunity to score. Wow! You can't play. 
At fast break, much better. Good saving, quick reaction, and then Mertens finishing 9-6. Well played by West Brand, another save by Porter. It's very difficult to get past him tonight. Smith. Another two minute suspension. This time Soran Ilic. Once again, Portner. He has worked himself into the mind of the West Brom player. That is pretty obvious. And of course, the goalkeepers for West Brom also play a major part in success. And Chupara hasn't really reached that level that Portner is offering until now. One and a half minutes suspension time. There's a lot of spice from Magdeburg. There was a risky pass by Christiansen. And we've got the first timeout taken by Bennett Wiegert. at the moment just going through the procedures there shot efficiency 82% Magdeburg only 50% less breath that is one issue the other one is the goalkeepers Weber back line this is also something you need to simply recover a little boys it's about seconds in the defense then and once again Weber catching West Brems defense and the goalie by surprise 10-6 Nice pass, well executed by Nilsson. Good play by Magdeburg again. Corrales now between the posts for Vespra, the Spaniard, Rodrigo Corrales. Empty goal. Nilsson is not one of the big jumpers. He prefers to keep it simple. That was more of an easy save for Portner Veja. Corrales. European champion 218. Joined the Hungarians. 2020 after three seasons with Paris Jean Saint Germain. The final four has always been the minimum target in the last few years for West Brem. 
But there's been a slight rethink since Seged moved up to eye level. Beating Kiel today, by the way, at Seged Arena. And top stars are once again tied to their clubs on long-term basis or prefer to move to Denmark or Norway. That creates a bit of a problem for the Hungarians. So they must, they must act more cleverly and with more perspective again and cannot simply and exclusively bringing ready-made stars. Beautiful pass by Lauge Schmidt. Nice finish by Manuel Strelek. Voltage Champions League All-Star left wing. Some three years ago after scoring 42 times that season. Strelak, by the way, on two goals now, so on 28 altogether in this season. First goal for Petar Nenadic in his second attempt. And this guy from Denmark is everywhere. Once again, the assist came from Rasmus Laugi Schmidt. One of the few players who have played or at both DHW Kiel and Flensburg Handewitt in the past. Weber missing the goal. Still busy there on court. German national team, he prefers to play in offense only. Relic. Good play by Vesprem. Just closing the gap again. Tenth goal for the Hungarians. And from their perspective, 10 11. In the 24th minute of the first half. It's Christianson. A lot of workload for both. And another seven meter decision. And that one is correct again. He's very hard to stop. And Christensen is always on the look for the pivot for Oscar Bergendahl. And he showed right away his worth for. Magdeburg scoring four against Lemko in the Bundesliga. Guy Smith on 80%. Four from five. Another one from the penalty line. And just too good against Rodrigo Corrales. Mojelic won the Champions League two times with THW Kiel. What an excellent player he was. Scoring machine from the left back. And looking for the pivot here as well. And I think it was Lipovina getting the two minutes suspension. Yeah, here we go. If you decide to, to fight against Nilsson, you have to do it very cleverly, or you just let him go and hope that Portner might be able to save. on the left wing. Christians are now in the left back. Smith.
Leeds in the right back. And another goal by Heiko, uh, Philip Weber, sorry, I should say. actually started with the Magdeburg youngsters some 10 years ago. Really nothing against the save, but it was not a good selection there by Nedaric. Also being disturbed by Bergendorf. Just four minutes left in the first half. Easy one. As if they played together for the last couple of years. Christian Son and Borgendahl. I'm not sure, but I think Mome Illich hasn't really taken that time out. Yes, he has. So he needs to talk to his players Andreas, urgently. Is here. We have 11 seconds. Andreas is here. Yes, open one, two. Open here, Rale and Peter. Play this. Okay. We start from, uh, from Andreas and you go. If not, block outside. Okay, speak about this. You are here. You are here. Okay. After that, when we are in attack, I want forward situation. We put here Andreas and you come with our ball. Okay. With right hand still. Right hand. I will right. Right. Hey, come on, guys. Hey. Get down. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mommy is starting to do it in English. You've got 12 different nationality, nationalities within the West Ham team. Magdeburg 10. But I do recall also in, in Kiel and in Berlin, the responsible people for the club and also the coaches try to make new players from foreign countries to learn German as quick as possible. Nenadic. Lauge Smith. Strelek fires away another one and it's his fourth goal. He's also sitting on 80%, so his shot efficiency is quite good. Momilic. Obviously himself played for 11 young, long years for the Serbian national team. Dushinson. Smith. Ah, oh, well played. Once again, we had the same trouble developing for Vesprem. Playing a very open defense. And you need to observe what's going on to your left, to your right. You don't necessarily have to watch where the ball is all the time. That is the big mistake there. Nilsson. Unstoppable at the moment. If you feed him the ball, he scores. Four from four. Excellent. So far has played 380 games and scored over 1,100 goals for West Brom. According to the club, that makes him the 12th best goal scorer in the club's history. And that is full of big scorers! Big scoring here! In-flight shots! And that 
must be really frustrating for West Brom when they have the right answer. El Dira. He had a lot of time to think there, but he was already on his way straight to the goal. Nenadic. Rodrigo Corrales with another save. We are right in the last minute of this very exciting first half. We are almost on even terms. Magdeburg leading 16-15. Almost unbearable sound and noise here. First missed one, and this is probably why. Because he decided to try the lob. Intense first half. Another two minute suspension, by the way, for Manuel Strelik. And I'm not too sure if we are through yet. This is what happened, Strelek. It was a bit of a small push, I would say. Still a push. And now the first half is officially over. Over exciting stuff here from Getik Arena. Magdeburg up only by one goal. 16-15. And a little bit of a discussion towards the end. But what a goal this was here by Smits. Fans just love to watch that one again and again and again. Once again, great to have you on board. The second half is on and just a few minutes away.
Let's buckle up for the second half. Great first half where Magdeburg got away a bit at the beginning and could also impress Vesprem a lot, but Moby Illich guys came back fine and could shorten again and again in the course of the first half. Very fast game as expected and very important and good to see. At this level, you have to score, you have to hit as much and as often as possible. Otherwise, you will be punished immediately. Magdeburg had a bit of problems, especially with the pivot, Andreas Nielsen, and also to focus on the right decisions there in defense. If you have Lauge under control, Nielsen is the one getting the pass. If he ties, if he ties up several defenders, the back players from Westrum can score, like Lauge did in the beginning, like Nenacic did then in the course of the first half. High level, great quality, partly super goalkeeper performances and a close game. So it can continue, I'd say. Shooting efficiency, Magdeburg on 67%. Vesprem has improved in that area, 63 at the moment. Goals in power play, five Magdeburg, zero Vesprem. And we are much looking forward now to the beginning of the second half in our match of the week here from Getik Reda in the Machine Seeker AHF Champions League. The second half is on. Vesprem in offense with a new left wing in Bjarkimar Eliasson. Quite some jump changes in the starting six. Der Lauge once again in the left back. Excellent. First penalty decision in favor of Vesprem after just roughly half a minute. Valupa. Against the man of the match so far, Nicola Portner. First try there for the right wing, Nikita Valupa. And he scores. Takes his time. And that makes a lot of sense against Rodrigo Corrales. Seconds left of that two-minute suspension. Vesprem received towards the end of the first half. As the goalie, Rodrigo Corrales, enjoying his very short break there. Lauge Schmidt. Makes the right decision just once again. His fourth goal. And of course, all the others in white benefiting from his great passes, leading to their scoring. This 
Washington. Weber. And now we've got the same situation. Now we've just described in terms of Lauge. So much understanding what Nielsen needs as the pivot. Just a good pass and in the very right moment where the focus was on the back player of Magdeburg, on the German national Weber. Good idea. Fine shot there by Mikita Walupau. His first out of the match from the right wing. Smith. There, Jacques. And you can tell from each and every perspective, it's really a very tough task against Bergendahl. He's just so strong. Smith. Morales saw that one pretty late. But he was paying a lot of attention there. But because he knows that Christensen loves those hidden shots. Score is even for the first time, by the way. On 18 goals, each team. Illich. Strelak back on the left wing for Vesprem. And Magdeburg on the move at Getek. That was a risky pass. Christensen was virtually guided closely there by Patrick Littori. Magdeburg trying to Pass the ball quickly. And if he gets point, can't find a gap at the moment. I need to be careful now, it's just a couple of passes left. finish and a very effective cross there being initiated by Christensen 1918 By the way, works a lot for Vesperm's backline. But in this case, he's able to score himself. Burgunda offering his services, just moving forward a little there. Weber. A very decisive period in this match. Time for a goal. Weber wipes that one again. Illich. Fourth goal. 
for Philip Weber. Not easy to get that ball. Veja. O'Sullivan. Bejak, offensive foul. I think it was a close call, but seemed to be a correct call. Portland once again, nice slow motion of that action, and now that can't be an offensive foul, foul because Pech Malvin was clearly moving sideways. He was moving, and that is the decisive thing there. Walker again. Might be opening another quick chance for Magdeburg or Sullivan. Smith. That is one of his signature moves. Circling around the defender. You need a lot of balance to do that one. His sister Inga just. Oh, just about roughly half a year ago, the European League with Bittigheim. Also, world champion in 2019. It's a handful family. champions dethroned was be the big headline roughly two weeks ago when Magdeburg took out Kiel in the German Cup in a rematch of last year's final after extra time and Magdeburg still playing in three different comps and that is the tough issue when you play Champions League and nationally in two more competitions. There are no more rest games. In the end, the teams that come through best with clever workload management might be successful. Not fussing around, Weber. Always mostly goes for the straight shot. Nice possession there after the mistake. Great save by Corrales. Beating. O'Sullivan there in that one-on-one -on -one situation between the goalie and the Norwegian. Team captain of Magdeburg and obviously one of the key players here but also in the Norwegian national team. Two goals to the margin. Beautiful pass. Nice finish! Mertens, who kept waiting there in his corner, and then he had so much spice. He's a great jumper also. Youngest wing player within the Magdeburg squad. Timeout has been taken by Illich. Just imagine how difficult it is to get through to your players. 
within a minute, you need to tell them exactly what you expect them to do. And of course, in this noise that has just erupted after that wing shot by Mertens, because it was Magdeburg's 22nd goal. Title holder back in 2002, semi finalist two years later. Also, quarter finalist in the Champions League in between. European League winner 2021, runner up 21 22, Magdeburg. Also winning the AHF Cup three times in the past. And each year, once again and again, high expectations here around Getek Arena. Just a free throw. That could have been a penalty as well. This is maybe also what we see the special request there by Momia Illich. He got being busy with other things. His father Ingold was an Olympic gold medalist as a player back in 1980. Huge final against Russia. Two minute suspension. <laughs> Bergendahl, Magdeburg paid quite some money to get him going and leaving his former club. Esprem taking time. And sometimes that is exactly the right course of events. Just being patient, waiting for the best attempt possible. Nenadic. Twenty-two twenty. One twenty left of Bergendahl's suspension. Weber, Christiansen, was strong at the beginning, but at the moment, Vesprem. He has no trouble to defend him well. But he can never be too sure. Two passes left, one. Needed to do something, and I guess now it's only one. Player blocked by Magdeburg for Weber. It's very difficult to develop the full force when you jump with two legs. Unbelievable shot by Smith. How has he managed to get that one? Seven goals for the Dutchy. Wee. 
There was virtually no spice, and somehow there was spice. Linodic, Ilic. Nothing to complain there. Beja. No, 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 no. Whistle came a little early. But sometimes, also as a good referee, you just simply can't foresee things developing in handball because it happens so quickly. Bit of a cross there between Weber and Christensen without the ball, but very effective. It's a four goal margin again. In the 46th minute in our match of the week in the Machine Seeker AHF Champions League. Oh, too much spice for Smith and clearly using that spice, formidable. Lauge Schmidt. Interception by Magdeburg. Lots of free players, merchants. This period reminds us a little bit of the start of the game for Magdeburg. And the quick reaction by Momia Illich. He has to do something about Magdeburg's play at the moment. He needs to disturb the rhythm. Temple party here at Geta Gorilla. And this is also because Magdeburg is five goals up. Which was, would also mean a swap in position in this group. And a major step toward quarterfinal qualification. Vesprem react. They have announced five personal decisions before the World Cup break. Four players were tied to the club on long term. Strelek. Good eye from the left wing. Portner opened the short corner. Strelak being one of the best scorers for Vesprem. He is the best on five, sitting on five in six attempts. Christensen, Weber. Goal counts. And the defensive work by Vesprem was rough. Red card. So Vesprem from now on. Without Dragan Pech Malbec. And this is what happened.
Davis' seventh goal. <laughs> you really need a lot of fluid, not only as a player, also as a coach. Things are heating up in Magdeburg. Empty goal once again on the left side of the court. Nenadic, Laugi Schmidt. He has played so much handball in the last couple of weeks. Nenadic. I think there was a bit of a lucky call there, lucky decision on behalf of West Bram. Nenadic. Things are heating up everywhere. Laugen needed to finish. And that was good for Portner. Some great goalkeeping by the Swiss. Christensen. Kai Smith. Still a lot of work to be done for West Bram, trailing by five at the moment. Andreas Nilsson. Strong performance today by the Swedish pivots. 83%. Well done so far by Nilsson. Chupara Nilsson Corrales. And also Kantan Mahe. They were tied to the club. Chupara back for Vesprem. Strelik. Portner, number one. The trouble here was that Strelik changed his pattern. He tried to spin and lob the ball. And it was a clear invitation for the goalie. Instead of going for the simple shot once again, because he was successful with that once. Fire away again. 28 22. There's still some 10 minutes to play, but it's hard to believe that the Hungarians could be able to come back again. But you never know in a quality match like this one here. The match of the week in the Machine Seeker AHF Champions League.
sometimes that kind of swap also stops the rhythm of a scorer. Jensen for Portner works well. Christensen, Mertens. Look what, what he's doing in the air. He keeps on flying. He makes a move with his arm. It was almost a fake in the air because he's flying so high and so wide. 29, 22. to book us here on the run. Right here in the Machine Seeker HF Champions League after that loss against Brooks, which was from Bennett Vegas' perspective probably a little bit unnecessary. Still, obviously, that gave the right portion of motivation apart from being successful in the German League again against Lemgo. And that was an away game. Vesprem simply not creative enough to get through that defense. And there's already a lot of disappointed faces on the bench. And Nadic not being able to play the way he needs to play in a top match. Now two minutes su suspension here for Christian O'Sullivan. This motto for handball, I want to make my teammates better. Probably no one else understands the true rule of handball so much like O'Sullivan. He is such a team player and he is such a good goalie today. Outstanding. Outstanding the Swiss. Outstanding the man from the Netherlands in the right bike. Kai Smit. Sixth best scorer, by the way, at the World Championships. That was pretty hurtful for Nilsson. Because Christensen landed there. He also played for Germany. Not for Germany, but a German club. HSV Hamburg Handball, also a former Champions League champion. Plenty of time for the host at the moment. Plenty of time also because there are one man under. And this is what you want. I think it was the right decision. Scoring its 10th. Smiths from the penalty line against Shupara. Missed that one. Was a little bit overexcited. Probably in regards to the prospects to being able to score 10 times against Vesprem. Well, he is on nine. That's not too bad. Timeout by Magdeburg. Scoreboard-Management, Zeit runter und in die Zweikämpfe. Bitte klar, weg zu Wenn wir in Zeitspiel sind, Flippi, jetzt hören wir mal genauer zu. 
Wenn wir im Zeitspiel sind, steht Gizzi hier, ja, du hier. Und der Freiwurf ist hier im Zeitspiel. Er lässt du den Kreisläufer wegziehen und er kommt zurück. Und du gehst nach hier und spielst ihm einen Camper hier rein. Okay? Im Zeitspiel. Den Rest nehmt ihr jetzt. Ich habe noch eine Auszeit. Wichtig ist, den Zug zum Tor das nicht zu, zu verlieren. Komplett nehmen wir sie raus. Hey. Don't forget to pull towards the goal. And the other thing was talking about the situation when they get into time trouble and where he wants his players to be and what he wants to happen then. So obviously newcomer Oscar Bergendahl has no problems whatsoever adjusting and immediately scoring and functioning for Magdeburg. Another two minutes suspension for Nilsson. Well, you got to be careful because we had that situation before that ended up with a red card for Dragan Pech Malbec. And I think Nilsson was getting close here as well. Weber. Schmidt. I think Bruno and Salah are doing a good job here. Refereeing in a packed Gettig Arena in that sort of match, not an easy task. But they are in control. Weber from the penalty line. It's 30 goals for Magdeburg. It's all happening after the farewell of Johnny Green and line player Markus Gullerud. But that has been compensated well. Mertens. Quick release there by Bejak. Kantama here on the court as well for some time now. But so far, he can't get a grip of this match. Can't really influence the outcome. We were on even terms. But that is a long time ago. Then a couple of minutes later, 19 both teams. And then Magdeburg got away again. Uh, this is already about celebration. This is already about celebration. Celebrating. Magdeburg's big move in this group. In this group A. PSG, more or less untouchable, already qualified for the quarterfinals. And tonight, Magdeburg has hopes being able to put a great show together. Including some huge individual skills. 
being shown especially by the goalie by Portner and also by the right back Kai Smith. Unfortunately, that one went right into Portner's face. And we had just opened the last minute of this game, so that shot was also an unnecessary one. All good. This is something we also love about Temple. Acknowledgement by the crowd here, and as I said, it's almost sold out. Acknowledgement of Porter's performance, acknowledgement of Magdeburg's great performance in this match of the week. And this is the perfect ending. Two players in the air, the last one scoring, Vladan Lipovina. 30 seconds, goal for Magdeburg, 10 seconds left here at Getrick Arena. Beating Vesprem 32 25.